As I promised, I'm going to be doing a review a couple of the products that I purchased recently. Currently is available online from the US retailer. You can buy it online from the carpangler.com. Uh, they are the only one in the US who actually sell this. It's a new product to me. Um, I have a couple nice things about it and I have a couple of bad things about it. But nevertheless, I think it's, it's a great concept. I just got this about two weeks ago. I'm one of the lucky guy to get one. Surprise, surprise when it arrived and I saw the size of this. This is huge. I did not expect this. I was expecting normal car cattle. I don't think that this is for like um, half day sessions. This should be like for competition events or if you're doing multiple day sessions. It's accurate. This is the most important. The scale is very accurate. However, it's a little bit big. This is connection wiring. It in a pretty bad spot. There, there was no reason to put them at these ends here because you're gonna see it during the assembly process. Now, when you open this, you have to be very careful with this wiring so these wires don't get caught up in the scissoring, scissor system over here because this will cut the wire. It has this protective top. Uh, this is to keep the cradle cool if it's exposed to the sun. It's protecting from UV, but it's also protecting from heat. Now, this is one of the details that I don't like. These legs are unfolded but they are not secure now in order to secure them you have to screw in these screws this should have some kind of mechanism a lot of rod pods has these mechanisms that you press and that allows you to slide open or slide close. For European fishermen, this is not a big deal. It's only a screw. Maybe for other people, this is not a big deal. For me, it is a big deal because it's a damn screw that I can lose. You can see the torque leg to make it more, um, more strong and more sturdy, but I think four legs would be more than enough. This is very accurate system, as I was saying. The build quality of the screen, it's amazing. Uh, the way you attach this screen to this cradle, it's ridiculous. You have to use these small screws. Again, I believe rocket in the back of the screen could easily be converted to different kind of system, something that easily attach and easily remove without the need to carry the screws. Wire connectivity, it's very simple. You can't miss it. Color match, color match. I bought a small anchor bank on Amazon. 20 bucks, you just plug this in. This has more than enough juice to power this cradle for weeks. The screen, it's beautiful, very bright, even outside on a sunny day, it's gonna be bright. The menu, as you can see all the visible options, it's the uh, biometric pressure, the temperature, uh, now it's kilogram, uh, pressing the pound, it's gonna switch to pound. The only option in the entire menu, you can set the brightness of the screen. Battery indication, it's important. Accuracy, it's important, it's a scale. 54 inches by 26. I will give away all of my fishing equipment if I ever catch the carp, that will be too big for this cradle. Couple bad things. 
sensing wires. This wire goes inside these legs. Some place around here, this is where the sensors are. It connects there. But for God's sake, why would you reroute that wire here? That wire could easily have come from the bottom. Come from here and it connects directly into equipment. And same thing on this side. That way you are staying away from this scissor system, which is pretty dangerous system. I think this is engineering mistake. This definitely should be made available coming from the bottom into the equipment, from the bottom into the equipment. Easy disconnection here, easy disconnection on this side, and that's it. You don't need to worry about it. Same thing for the screen, the way that this is done. Um, this type of bracket could be replaced with something that you can easily press the button here and release the screen on both sides. So you use two hand, press the button, the screen gets released. Again, the bad thing is these screws here that you have to put these screws so that this doesn't move. It doesn't get folded back and fall down because, you know, this is big again, 54 inches. So you will be tripping on it, you know. The middle legs are really not needed. I think it was overkill. These adjustable legs are amazing. They, they work great. Look at this, just press and let it go. Press and let it go. Check this out. 1.2 pound, this measuring tape, 1.2 pound. It memorizes the weight and it's gonna stay memorized. And uh, even after the screen turns off, it's gonna remember the last weight, which is great for taking the pictures. It has to be the two pound weight. It was dead end. It was like 2.001. You can't get better than that. It's very, very accurate. Now, accuracy should be also incorporated with the ability to change pound and ounces instead of only um, decimals, you know, like, 1.2 not really um, I want to know that it's one pound and 16 ounces or one pound and eight ounces or it's a uh, 32 pound and 17 ounces whatever you know uh, no you don't have that option so the menu has only one settings which is the brightness nothing else that doesn't make sense guys whoever made this it's easy upgrade to the firmware not a big deal very easy algorithm to do that. So please, for the next release, uh, incorporate that. Include it in the menu option. Also to ability to change from Celsius to Faraday and the ability to change the barometric pressure from European standard to American standard. Materials are amazing. All these materials are amazing. To have the drains on both sides, plus in the middle, that's amazing. Uh, to be able to cover it, that's amazing. Adjustable leg, that's amazing. The metal construction, it's great. The leg system, it's amazing. I think this could be the next big thing with a few minor upgrades. Get rid of these screws, come up with a different system on all four of them. Same thing, the screws that hold the screen, reroute these wires in the bottom come up with a different protection for the wiring except this and this will justify the cost so this is currently listed for $549.95 $5 shipping only throughout United States our guys good guys from Carp Anglers and Rafal they're running this $5 shipping for anything that you order unheard of and amazing waiting time it's probably about four weeks i know that is a shipment of about 10 pieces coming soon i purchased this out of my money i buy items i test item it's my item so i don't mind saying bad things or good things if i like it i like it if i don't like it i don't like it too bad do I really like this? Yes. If I'm to rate this from one to 10, 
seven. But I like it even so that I only giving seven. The only reason I'm giving seven, the middle leg should be removable. This four screws should not be here, should be some kind of other mechanism. And then the way you secure and you mount the screen could be done better. And to have a better kind of protection of the wire, the most important is reroute these two wires instead of coming like this, inside of this scissor mechanism should be coming out before the scissor mechanism and it should be coming from the bottom and connect to the screen. I bet most of you guys never seen cradle with a building scale that is this accurate and it works. I need accuracy. This is accuracy. I need quality. This is quality, but only in scale to set.